Hi, I'm Becky Streepy from Glue and Glitter, and today we're making easy, cheesy, vegan stacked enchiladas. Stacked enchiladas deliver all that delicious flavor that you expect from enchiladas, but there's no rolling required. Instead, you layer them up on your baking pan and then bake them up until the cheese is nice and melty. These are filled with my vegan chorizo mixed with some sauteed veggies. So let's start by making the chorizo and take it from there. In your food processor, combine onion, walnuts, a drained can of chickpeas, garlic, chili powder, red wine vinegar, lots of delicious spices, salt, and cinnamon and cloves. Now lock the lid on your food processor and run it until you have a chunky mixture. Transfer that mixture to a skillet and saute the chorizo until it's nice and golden brown. Transfer that to a large bowl. Now you're gonna saute the veggies in that very same pan on the stove top. Heat up some olive oil and then add garlic, peppers, and onions and cook that up until the onion starts to turn golden. Now add that to the bowl with your chorizo and mix it together really well. All right, y'all, we're ready to assemble. Grab a small corn tortilla and dredge it in enchilada sauce. Use your hand to kind of wipe away any extra sauce. You want it coated, but not dripping. Transfer four of those tortillas onto a lined baking sheet, and then divide half of the chorizo veggie mixture between them and kind of flatten it out a little bit. Now dredge four more tortillas and put one on top of each enchilada. Then divide the rest of the chorizo filling, and this time you're gonna top it with cheese. You can put cheese shreds on the first layer as well, but I've found that it's cheesy enough without it, and this method uses exactly one bag of vegan cheese shreds. If you do wanna put cheese on the first layer also, just know that you'll need a second bag so that you'll have enough to do all of the layers. If bagged vegan cheese isn't your thing, that's totally fine. I have a vegan cashew queso recipe that you can use in place of the bagged cheese, and I'll link to that in the notes below. Top off each stack with one more sauced enchilada, sprinkle cheese over the top of everything, and bake. Once the cheese is nice and melty on the top of these, you are ready to serve. I like to sprinkle some green onions on these before serving, but that's totally optional. I hope that this video has answered all of your questions about how to make these stacked enchiladas. If you have any questions I didn't address, feel free to drop a comment. I'm always happy to help. And don't forget to rate and subscribe. Happy cooking!